Hello and welcome to how to use the Trade Informed Hull Moving Average Spreadsheet. Quick guide. When you first open the Hull Moving Average Spreadsheet you will see something like this and the first thing that you might want to do is to change the value of the Hull Moving Average and you do that by clicking in this cell here. I can change the value to 12 and we can see that this column here which contains the HMA has changed. The green values signify that the indicator is rising and red shows that it is falling. And the next thing that you might want to do is to change the historical data. Now I've got some historical, some sample historical data here and all you need to do is to, if you have another data source that you want to use, is copy and paste. So I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to put in another lot of data here. So we can see it's in the same format. This is important, date, open high, low close, volume, format. So I'm going to highlight these cells, scroll down to the bottom, just highlight them, copy, go up to the top left hand cell and copy this in. You can see there I have changed the data. Now the only thing you need to do next is to make sure that the historical data and the formulas end in the same row. And the way to do that is just to go down here, find where the formulas end, highlight the bottom row, double click here in the bottom right hand corner and you can see that the formulas are automatically copied down. And if I scroll right to the bottom, and they're copied down to the final row. If you have the situation where the data is on a higher row than the formulas, you can just simply get rid of this last lot of data of formulas by clicking delete. And so there you have the quick guide of how to use the Trade Informed Hull Moving Average Spreadsheet.